With all this heat, you've been probably blasting your air conditioner for the past few days. And while the AC provides cooling comfort, you might feel the heat next time you open your electric bill. For more on how to stay cool and keep your costs low this summer, we are joined by Kelly Grant. She's senior consumer reporter for SmartMoney.com. Kelly, you have some tips for cooling costs. I do. It's been really hot, obviously, here in New York, and I think most people have been really blasting the air conditioner. Right. Not looking forward to seeing that bill, for sure. No, absolutely not. So the first tip here is uh, get the filters checked, keep the filters clean. This is something that you can do yourself. You don't need to actually call in an inspector, it, no matter whether you've got the window unit, the room unit, or central air conditioner. Uh, take out those filters and clean them at least on a monthly basis. They do collect a lot of dirt, and all of that is going to mean that your air conditioner has to work that much harder to push through that cold air, so it's wasting a lot of energy. So this is something you can do yourself? You can, and it'll save uh, uh, as much as 5% on your bill. Which so. is a lot. When I was younger, really I think 5%, that sounds like nothing. That's a lot. That's good. It, it, is, it is good, a good chunk of change. Okay. Another thing is program the thermostat. This is something that is so easy to do if you have the option on your device. It is, but a lot of people don't actually do it. But something mm -hmm. as simple as programming it so that when you're uh, you know, away during the, the day for those eight hours a day that it goes to a higher temperature or that it won't kick in until your apartment gets really hot, that's something that can save you about $180 a year according to some of the estimates we saw at Energy Star. So you know, certainly a little bit of that adds up. And for people who just say, well, I just like it to be really cold in my apartment, but you can program it so that it kicks, it kicks down really low just a couple hours before you come home or... Exactly. You can have it uh, just uh, nice and cold, the perfect temperature for you when you get home, but it doesn't need to be that way all day long when there's no one there to enjoy it. Exactly. Um, how about seek out incentives? So maybe if your unit doesn't have a programmer on it or it's an older unit, then maybe you should be looking into a new one or a rebate for a new one, correct? Uh, exactly. If you are in the market for a new air conditioner, and this could be, again, central air or it could be a window unit, there are a lot of different incentives out there that can easily cut the purchase price. We are seeing a lot of utilities will offer some sort of a discount for buying an energy efficient unit. There's still some states that have the uh, the cash for clunker appliances mm -hmm. cash left. Uh, we saw Georgia's offering $99 toward central air and $30 toward a room unit. So that's pretty good cash right there. And this is still the last year for people who, if they're um, installing a qualified central air conditioner that they can get up to a $1,500 tax credit. So, you know, certainly some good money there to be had. Definitely. And in your uh, Smart Money article, I love the, the seal up the house. I mean, it doesn't take that long to do. It's not very expensive. And it's, it's good for the winter and the summer because just like you don't want the cool air to escape, you don't want the heat to escape. Exactly. It, this is something that's, that's very easy for people to do, too. You're just investing a little bit of money, probably like $20, $30 in some caulk and some uh, sealants, and you're basically going to be going around and looking for places that that cold air might escape. So this is sort of around window frames, doors, really anything that you would notice. It's a little bit easier to notice in the winter, anything that seems drafty, but certainly to go around and look for any place that that air might be escaping from. And you'll see uh, it could save you up to 20% on your energy bills year-round just by doing this. And you could go to Home Depot or a uh, a hardware store or something and ask them what's best to use and it's something that people could probably do themselves. Exactly. It's very, very easy to do and there's some great guidelines on energystar.gov too. And this one's funny. Avoid chores. I mean, have an excuse not to load the dishwasher or turn the stove on. Really, that's the best way to uh, cut one of your energy bills this summer. So good, good excuse not to use the dishwasher during the day or uh, do a load of laundry. Is all of these things are going to add to the heat load in your house. If you're thinking about, you know, how hot it already is during those daytime hours, your air conditioner is really pumping away, working hard. You don't want to add to it by turning the oven on or running the dishwasher, doing anything that's going and running any appliance that's going to add to that heat load. Okay, and finally, some keep cool tricks. There's little tricks you can use. There are uh, some of the simplest ones are to use, actually, use the shades on your windows, especially for south and west facing windows that get a lot of sunlight. And when you're home, use a fan. It can make it feel just a couple of degrees cooler, which means you can set the air conditioner that much to a higher temperature. Just make sure you turn the fan off when you leave the room. Fans really cool people, not rooms. Okay, Kelly, thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Thank you.